So mostly cloudy skies is going to take up your afternoon. However, if you're doing anything in the afternoon or you want to take your walks, this is actually looking pretty good. Folks that are celebrating Hanukkah, well, the sunset tonight is at 454. By then, we'll start to see some showers around here in the region, and it's just going to be remaining rather spotty through the rest of the late evening hours and on into tonight. Lows will be falling down to around 40. That's actually going to be happening somewhere around midnight. We'll, we'll raise a couple of degrees by the time we're waking up tomorrow, and we're also going to notice the wind is really going to pick up. So during the afternoon on your Thursday, we will be in the 50s with mainly cloudy skies, a few spotty showers left over, but it is going to be very breezy with those conditions up to about 20 miles per hour out of the southwest, and we could be seeing gusts a little bit higher than that. So let's go ahead and show you what we have in terms of the rain here on the latest future tracker. Keep an eye on those arrows because the more there are, the windier it's going to be. So showers will start up sometime around sunset, and it's just going to be here and there all throughout the rest of the night. And anything that falls again will be in the form of rain. There's no snow to worry about, at least for the next 48 hours. As we head on into Thursday afternoon, we're not really going to be seeing too many breaks in the clouds, and there's still going to be a few spotty showers. But there's those arrows really coming in, and we'll start to see that shift out of the west because that's when that cold front will be passing through is sometime tomorrow evening. But it's going to be very gusty. The only thing that's going to be really feeling nice is the fact that we're going to be in the 50s. However, those 50s are going to be feeling a little bit cooler because of that abundant wind. Now, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we're lowering it back down into the low and mid 40s. And then next week, it looks like we're back into the upper 30s. So colder air is coming back. This weekend is actually looking decently quiet. Saturday is looking like the best day if you want to put up some Christmas decorations for then or any other Christmas plans going on. Sunday we will have rain moving later on into the day. So mainly around sunset or into the overnight hours because we're tracking our next system moving through. So it'll start off as rain on Sunday and then on Monday it's going to switch over into snow. So that could be making things pretty tricky. This is still several days out for us to tell exactly what's going to be happening, the certain timing of the transition, but we're looking at some time during Monday. That's when the transition is going to happen and then it'll finish off as snow on Tuesday. So let's go ahead and put together with your seven day forecast. Tomorrow is going to be the warmest day of the next seven days and anything that falls today or tomorrow will be rain. Friday, it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing much in terms of precipitation. It could be either a snowflake or a raindrop, but not much is expected to happen. Saturday is looking like the most decent day of the next seven days if you want to do anything outside. Sunday during the day it looks like you're fine because rain doesn't move until later in the day. Monday it'll switch over into snow and it looks like we could have a little bit of some more snow lasting on into Tuesday.